So over the last few days, it's been raining, so I've been able to spend some time in the office. I've um, been working at some real core farm business, and I've also been putting together a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, the BC honey producers want me to head out to the convention end of October and speak a few times. So I have three presentations I, they want me to make, and uh, one's going to be on uh, single hive management. Um, that will be on Saturday. So I'm just going to walk them through a year of, of my honey farm on Saturdays. I'll take an hour. And then two workshops on Sunday. I'm going to be talking about um, uh, queen rearing, uh, how I use uh, my nukes, and how I've uh, set up a, my strategy um, to be able to make my own queens every year and not have to buy any queens in. And another one is I think they want me to talk about... Uh, just, uh, I'm not even sure, I'll have to check again what they want me to speak about, but something about building my operation over the years and, and mistakes I've made along the way and such. But one thing I want to show you guys, as I was making the PowerPoint presentation, I come across my um, uh, slide rule for the uh, queen rearing, and I just wanna, this is, I use this thing, for anybody who's interested, I use this slide rule uh, pretty much every day through the queen rearing season um, just because I'm always counting my days so what I have is down the one side is the days after graft and I just have the total days from the egg laid at the top just so I got my time bar and then my um, my calendar date here so I just match my calendar date up to the, my graft date and then this automatically counts out when the cells are capped when to be transferred, when they hatch, and then at the bottom, caging. So I'm always counting on my fingers days and and when to transfer and when to hatch and when were these put in and when when do we have to take them out and when were they hatched and all this. And so then I just match it up to my graft date and I work days after graft. So this would be, let's say, uh, May 6th. We made the graft. So on the 11th, they'd be capped. And down, um, we transfer into the incubator and on the 15th then and transfer in the hives on the on the 16th and 17th because they hatch on the 18th so then if my next day let's say move to 11th the graft on the 11th so then everything just moves respectively like such so this is a neat little thing I made very easy to set up and I I, I use it every every day